Hey David, Eric over here at Alderman Chevrolet Buick GMC, Vermont's favorite car dealership, where we are known for two things, awesome deals and fabulous service. David, thank you very much for taking some time to do research on one of the vehicles we have on our lot. This vehicle is still available, and I just want to share a few details and a few of my favorite features. So this is the 2020 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. It is the 6.6 liter V8, so it has a lot of capability for towing as well as any work or recreational needs. Now this truck is configured really well. Obviously on the outside is that metallic black, and we've got a generous amount of chrome trim around the vehicle from the pump uh, from the bumpers around the tires also up around the windows this particular model is a double cab which i think is a great way to configure a truck you do have still a generous amount of space with those four doors but it doesn't extend the wheelbase like the big crew cab would i love the easy keyless entry just press of a button when the key is in your pocket as well as this vehicle also does have keyless start which is right down there where that green button is Beautiful 8-inch touchscreen display. Most of the features are accessed right on there for the truck, so the middle console is very clean, not a lot of buttons. We do have our dual climate control, so both the passenger and the driver can be comfortable in their own temperatures. And right under the climate control, we do have our heated seats for either your butt or your back. We do have our trailering brake control, as well as the ability to put down the tailgate right in the vehicle and then you can turn that traction control off if you need to get a little speed going up a hill. Our Bluetooth and media options are right on our steering wheel, which makes hands-free driving really easy, as well as we do have our cruise control on the opposite side and our heated steering wheel button. And I can tell you that thing heats up in about 10 seconds. Really great on those cold days. Nice use of chrome and brushed aluminum around the tri for the trim in the car. And company by these light colored seats it really gives it a, a nice sharp look i love how easy it is to change from too high to four high to four low just by the touch of a button and it frees up all that space in the middle no more big shifters for changing gears even on the door there's a really nice contrast with that wood trim and the lighter color leather accompanied by that darker leather now, like I said, in the rear, you do still have plenty of room. I'm 6'2", and I can tell you very confidently I fit in these trucks very comfortably. Nice part about these seats, if you do need a little bit extra space for some tools or such that you want to keep out of the weather, you have a really flat area, which is great. And as you can see, you've got all-weather mats in the back as well as in the front. And a couple of USB ports as well as a 12-volt outlet for the rear passengers. One of my favorite new additions to the new trucks is these step-ups that you find in the front of the bed and in the very back. It's a larger space, lower, easier for you to grab the bed and jump up into the, into the truck. Really nice wheel well covers, keeping the mud and dark, uh, I'm sorry, mud and rocks off of the paint. Now this particular model is the SLE, very well equipped but at a very affordable price as far as the 2500s go. Really easy let down on the tailgate, touch of a button. That comes down nice and easy, no more slamming tailgates. And I'll tell you, it's hard to see it from on the, on the iPad here, but very light, very easy to put back up. We do have a spray-in bed liner from GM, which is great. And I'll tell you, these trucks have been concaved out on the sides, more so than they have ever been, which just gives you an extra amount of room we have up to 12 tie downs in these trucks nowadays. David, this is a really well equipped vehicle. If you would like to learn more, click the learn more button down below or come on down to Route 7 South in Rutland. We'd love to show you this one in person.